Good morning, class family. It's a wonderful Wednesday. Let's look at our message together. Show me that you're a team and a class family. Follow along with your eyes and listen with your ears. Use your finger to point. Ready? Start in the top right-hand corner with a date. November 13th, 2024. Dear class family, Today is Wednesday. We will learn a lot at school. First, we will learn letters and sounds. Next, we will do literacy centers. Then, we will review and retell a text. After that, we will segment phonemes. Last, we will read, draw, and Right in the Unit 2 magazine. Love, Miss Joyner. All right, class family, we're going to look back and reread the message. Remember, that's what good readers do. They reread. They do this so their brain can understand the words on the page. Use your finger to point. Start at the top right hand corner with a date. I noticed the month is spelled with a cap letter N, then O, V, period. What does that abbreviation stand for? We'll say the name of the month out loud. If you said November, you're right. Go ahead and pat yourself on the back. Notice the capital letter N to start. Good writers and mathematicians capitalize the first letter of each month of the year because it's special and important. They also capitalize the first letter of each day of the week. Okay, readers, we're going to continue to reread from top to bottom and left to right. November 13th, 2024. Dear class family, today is Wednesday. It is Wednesday and it's a wonderful Wednesday. Notice the capital letter that starts that sentence in the period at the end. Remember, Good writers start sentences with capital letters and end with punctuation marks. As we are rereading, notice how every sentence starts with a capital letter. Before we continue to reread, review the names of the punctuation marks you'll be seeing in the message and that good writers use. All right, say the names and sky write with me. Period, at the end of telling sentences and statements, as well as abbreviations. Exclamation point, also called an exclamation mark. That's at the end of exciting sentences. Question mark, at the end of question sentences, like that start with who, what, when, where, why, how, do, did, <laughs> question sentences. And comma, you will see commas within our message after the number for the date, after our greeting, after transitional words and phrases, as well as when we list more than one thing, when we said we will read, draw, and write. Notice how there are commas there. And at the bottom of our message, after the word love, after that closing, there's a comma. Go ahead and draw it in the air. All right, so you'll see these punctuation marks. And remember, good writers use punctuation marks within their writing, and good writers start sentences with capital letters. All right, let's reread the next sentence. We will learn a lot at school. Oh, that's true, class family. You know, we do that every single day, working on being a portrait of a graduate. We're practicing being a great communicator and collaborator by speaking clearly with our mouths and listening with our ears. That's what good communicators do. And you're working so hard each day in kindergarten, practicing being a strong listener. Remember, a strong listener uses their eyes for watching, ears for listening, their mouth is silent when someone else is speaking, and body is still and in one place. Are you being a strong listener? All right, class family, at this time, we're going to go ahead and share the sequence of what we're doing in language arts. The sequence is the order of events from beginning to end. You will notice these transitional words and phrases within our message. Review them with me. Say them out loud, readers. 
first, next, then, after that, last. All right, great job. Let's go ahead and read this sentence, starting with the transitional word first. First, we will learn letters and sounds. Just like we do every day at school in kindergarten, we're gonna use so many resources in the classroom and online. Shout out to Benchmark Advance. We'll be using so many of your resources today, including our alphabet chart to review letters, sounds, pictures to match that letter, and American Sign Language. We're also gonna be using a lot of resources, hands-on ones within the classroom, and we're gonna be looking online to use some other great resources to help us learn. It's gonna be wonderful. Oh, and next we'll do literacy centers. We will, and you know it. We always go on Lexia Core 5 reading program to sign on independently to your iPads, pass more units, pump your brains with knowledge. We have other teachers that are gonna meet with an, uh, with small groups. So remember, if your name is called or when your name is called to stop what you're doing and to listen the first time and to go to that location. We have books to read. We have lowercase letter matchup. We have letters to write with uppercase and lowercase. We're still focusing on the letter uh, N today. So we'll be reviewing that as well in kindergarten. Then we will review and retell a text. We will. We will review and retell the text, The Little Red Hen. So we'll be looking at this fiction text in kindergarten. We'll be discussing the pictures, sharing our thinking, reading the words, asking and answering questions, and doing what good readers do when they talk about a book together at school. After that, we'll segment phonemes. Oh, we will. And we're going to be still focusing on the letter N and tapping it. Dun, 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 dun. Phonemic awareness, tapping that beginning, middle, ending sound, saying that whole word. It's going to be fantastic. All right. And that's going to help us become better readers and writers. Last, we'll redraw and write in the Unit 2 magazine. Oh, we will. And we have a bunch to do within this magazine. So we will read. We will be writing. We will be drawing and checking out this wonderful resource that we're so grateful to be able to use at school in kindergarten. And remember, when we're done with this, we'll be able to take it home so you can keep forever. What a wonderful thing for you to have to pump your brain with knowledge. All right, it's gonna be a fantastic day. Get your fans ready. Fan. Fantastic. Our question in our T-chart of yes or no answers where we keep tally marks is a do you like question. And it is, do you like ST math? Well, do you? Oh, this is the math program that we use online. Remember where we help Gigi to solve puzzles? So think about your answer. Do you like ST math? And get ready to be a great communicator and share why.